Hey guys, how's it going? It's Miss Cassidus again. Well, for this week, since we are going to be doing what we would call your quarter exams, which in reality is just a quick review of everything we've seen this quarter, I thought it'd be fun that for science class we did a quick, short experiment. This experiment is called Balloon Blow-Up Science Experiment. Can you blow up a balloon without using your mouth? Well, believe it or not, in this simple science experiment, I'm going to show you how to do that with only a few everyday items that you probably already have in your home. This makes a great experiment for you kids because the setup is simple and it only takes a few minutes to get the exciting finale. So the supplies that you're going to need are a small soda bottle, a balloon, maybe two just in case we have a little accident, baking soda, vinegar, funnels, two separate funnels and I'll explain why further on, and a teaspoon. So for our balloon blow up science experiment, here is step number one. I'm going to start by asking a few questions, which you guys will fill out in a Google slide or a Google document, whichever you feel more comfortable with. How do you blow up a balloon? What if I told you that you couldn't blow air into it? Do you think you could still inflate or blow up that balloon? Do you think they can be used to blow up the balloon, looking at the items that I've asked you to have? If so, how? Write down your hypothesis or your prediction. So. Step number two is using a funnel. Pour about a third of a cup of vinegar into the bottle, which is a little bit more than the bottom part of it. In this video or this image, you can see that the lady uses apple cider vinegar, but any type of vinegar is fine. It could be white vinegar or yellow vinegar. Step number three, insert another funnel into the mouth of the balloon. I recommend that you use two different funnels, one funnel for filling the bottle with vinegar and one for the balloon. However, you can do the experiment with only one funnel. Just make sure to completely wash and dry the funnel after you add the vinegar and before you put it into the balloon. This is very important, you guys. Step number four, place two teaspoons of baking soda into the funnel so it falls into the balloon. When the balloon is filled with the baking soda, carefully remove it from the funnel. Step five. Next, secure the mouth of the balloon over the mouth of the bottle. Take your time doing this and don't let any of the baking soda fall out of the balloon and into the bottom of the bottle. Take a moment to make some observations. What will happen if we lift up the balloon? Write down your hypothesis and then let's test to see if you were right. Step six, while holding the bottle, lift the end of the balloon and allow the baking soda to drop into the balloon. What happened to the balloon? Was your hypothesis correct? Wondering what caused the balloon to inflate? Well, we're going to find out together. So here's a short video on what your result should have looked like. So was that the end result of your experiment? I hope so. Well, I can't wait to see you guys and your excitement in class when we do this experiment. Have a great day. Bye.